Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Amori. Uh, last time we explored the rest of the castle, and I imagine that this is going to be the big one. <sighs> Estella, what are you doing in here? Common sprout moles are allowed in Sweetheart's chambers. You know the rules? Oh, wait a minute. Perhaps you'll be able to help me. She ordered me to move this statue out of her bedroom before she returns, but I can't move it. If only it was suddenly and conveniently smashed into itty bitty pieces. Well, man, what it sounds like to me is that you're in need of some destruction. And Aubrey here is a destruction specialist. Aubrey. It's a very strange name for a Stratmel. Eh, she's running out of new names to give as of late. Wait, Cal, isn't that a statue of Captain Space Boy? I'd feel bad destroying it. It's not like he's gonna know. Captain Space Boy and Sweetheart are a thing of the past. Live and let live, that's what I always say. You don't always say that, but I can give it a shot. A poil. Poetry by Sweetheart. Ah, a day. And a day it was. Such a lovely day. Glued shut. Pulchritude in his face. Old grandfather clock. Doesn't seem to be working. I would like to sleep here. Aw, big cuddle puddle. We feel like new. Excuse me? I kind of thought so. Life-size and huggable, and yet... Suspicious. <clears throat> I hate that. Is it a body pillow of Captain Space Boy? Is she not over it yet? Here I go. This time I won't fail. Hmm. My word, you've done it. Time to clean this up. Broom and dustpan it all together. You're real lifesavers. I should have known just to leave the task to specialists. My my, well this is a surprise. Turns out all I have to do is lift it from the bottom. Likeness of an obnoxious looking person. Popcorn, nice. Are you guys familiar with the term boss fountain? A boss fountain is whenever the game is like, you're gonna fight a boss now, so. We're gonna just sprinkle some goodies on you. And they're giving me um, a lot of stuff. Been a while, you know, since anything like that has happened. Maybe through here, someone's gonna be like, fruit juice, not for kids. Pink, Captain Space Boy. Wine has been splashed on it. Teapot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me look at that. Uh, heart and juice. Ooh, nice. Does that mean that he also got a new weapon? Teapot. Handle and a spout. Um, I'll honestly... Yeah, I'll leave it like it is. Hero running out of stuff isn't exactly a problem because I've got a lot of items and hero's abilities are primarily useful for us for so I don't have to spend items. All right, um, now I'm not sure where exactly to go. Tasty soda, orange juice, peach soda. Yeah, I would have thought that the boss fight would have been up here. This is awkward. All 
Are we so excited to have her hand touched by Omori-sama? Right. These guys always come in threes, so I'll avoid them for now. Yep. Ah, uh, here we go. Stop you, impostors. I know what you are, and you are not sprout moles. I'm the fabled warrior of some a fabled warrior, Sir Maximus too, and grandson of Sir Maximus. You may have bested my father and grandfather, but that's only fueled my rage. With my impressive lineage and my father and grandfather by my side, I'll be victorious and avenge my family. Family, family, family. I love how it uses the shitty zoomed in sprite. Uh, yeah, spend it. <laughs> Fancy ball trick. Cool. Uh, look at Cal to get the anger boost. Nice. Not bad. Um, I guess just normal attack then, huh? And then I can just dance while I'm waiting. Damage though. Cannot let my father and his father's death be in vain. Flexes and feels his best. He's happy. Uh oh. He's yet to actually hurt us. Nice. Ghosts. Grandfather's ultimate attack. It's not that bad, you know. Ooh, that one's bad. <gasps> no, Aubrey's toast. A little toast with a bow. Amori, get him. Grandfather, I'm sorry, I failed you. Crap, that means that Aubrey doesn't get any of this XP from this delicious, delicious fight. Can't catch me. It's too quieter all of a sudden. Isn't there a crowd of Sprabbles at the entrance? I don't see him anywhere. Must have finally pushed their way outside. Let's follow him, Amori. Maybe they can lead us out of here. Well, I'm gonna go... So let's try tea time out on, or no. Oh, uh, you can only use that outside of battle, okay. Whatever, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go save and heal up, so I'll be right back. Hey everyone, we're back. I just had a minor heart attack because I wasn't sure if I was recording correctly. Not fruit punch still. Alright. Oh my god, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> These are all rivers of blood? I feel like I've been to too many weddings. Woohoo! Out of the castle. I wonder what big event everyone's preparing for. 
I don't see the sprout moles from the entrance anywhere. Where could they all have gone? Must be a hidden exit. Let's poke around anything that looks suspicious. Maybe it's all these blood rivers. Maybe that's where they are. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Youch, that hurt. Is everyone okay? What happened? Uh, sweetheart Topiary fired a laser at us. How do we wait to get rid of these guys? Yeah, it does real damage, too. Up, oh, secret exit. Mushroom, want to take a bite? Oh, sweet Jesus. You, bulbous one. Your eyes, they tell me you learn to learn. Excellent, 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 excellent. I will teach you. Come. Bulbous one? Hard bulb. You can hear something struggling inside. Pardon, but who is the bulbous one? Is it Omo? There we go. Now observe, the hard bulbs like the one behind me hold creatures like me. We are unable to escape by our own means. With a specific and intricate cutting technique, one would be able to release us from our buddy fate. This technique takes years and decades to master. If you agree to learn, there's no telling how long it'll take. I believe you'll do great things. Are you ready to take on the challenge? I'm more trained for a long time. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You've grown so much. Unlike the bull behind me. Cut it using your perfected technique so it may live. At last, I am free. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Take this. It's a gift from me. A Tendelian. Yeah. And jam packets. Getting a lot of those. Cool. Hiya! Dang, I missed. Oh, silly, Kel. You're not gonna knock out anything throwing like that. Why don't you try aiming for once? Aim? I can do that? Of course. Even you can aim, Kel. I'll give it my best shot. Uh huh. Oh, that thing. There we go. I thought I was trying to hit one of the ones ahead. I guess it should make sense that I can only hit things on the same screen as I, though. Pop. Pizzazz. Nice. Got a lot of good abilities now. Waffles, nice, nice. I love waffles. To this day, even. What's up, fucker? Alex the Esteemed. As a member of the Esteemed Elite, I have a special code word to hide. You probably wouldn't know anything about that. Maybe I can charm you. Simple. Simple enough. This is a big ass area. What about here? Oh, of course. Nice. 
<laughs> hey, they're handsome. Or maybe you prefer what's cooking, good looking. That interesting book you have looks pretty interesting. I bet Demi would want to read something like that. Cool. I thought so. Let's do a picnic and see if we can get some dialogue out of it. Nothing. Oh, well. We're refreshed now, at least. Cool. Too early. Pizzazz, gotcha. Gotta get that cheese wheel. All right. I'm partially tempted to speed through this, but I don't want to miss a thing. Protecting the sacred password is an arduous task. Perhaps one day, you fine young moles will carry the same burden of the illustrious elite. I'll be frank, I'm not entirely sure what I am doing here. Oh god. Mole fight. Oh. Not bad at all. love the art of the moles. I'm learning so much about cool mole culture now. Wow, that's a lot of damage though. There's one down. Crap, I should have followed up. That's okay though. Oops. Just stab him more. Eesh. Sorry, I was goofing off. Omori's 22 now. Level 22. As it goes, the mechanic of them rolling initiative and either blowing it or getting, like, an advantage is actually pretty cool. Very simple way to make, um... more diverse fights. Uh, the wife... Re whoops. Uh, my wife and her brother, my brother-in-law, recently obtained a PlayStation 2 and have been playing Ape Escape 3 again since they love it but have been unable to play it uh, for a decade or more. Uh, and the mechanics based around catching monkeys are very simple, but the way that the monkeys are all given their own set of stats is actually pretty interesting, because it means that every single monkey is going to be a unique fight, which is cool. I think so, at least. Now, before you tread, you're in the presence of sweethearts, distinguished elites. Got the wisdom of the castle with my life. Yeah, I feel like I'm just going down side paths and doing, like, fun side objectives that aren't, like, necessary, but I'm just doing them just because they're a thing to do. Nice. It isn't necessarily a bad thing, either. I enjoy this game and doing the side paths are fun. Oh, these are the, those are the, the crazy bears. Let's go. All right. All right.
This one might be trouble. It would have been nice to maybe get um, Omori's thing that debuffs dudes based on their anger in here. That would have been kind of cool. I'll show you. All right. Oh, he's angry again. That's okay. I can just stab him and get my crits off. Hey, the bird. Nice. Oh my. Gee. <laughs> Um, I'm just realizing that I haven't saved in a bit, actually. All right, all right, all right, all right. Crap. Um, let's try Juice Me on Omori. Let's cook for poor little Kel here. Since he's going to have to. Kel passes the coconut to Omori. That's kind of funny. Yeah, the bear's going to have to, um refresh himself to being angry instead of sad which means that we can rely on him not hurting anyone this turn Oh, interesting. Maybe if we can keep him sad, we'll be able to avoid him. Jesus! Let's juice up Omori, and then you've got to heal him for real, real. There's going to be a lot of... Oh shit, this might kill him, and then we're going to have to start the next fight with... Uh-oh. Oh, oh Kel's level 22, though. This is a good technique, at least. Let's have Kel... Let's have Kel... 75... Yeah. You get her up. You cook for Omori. This is a long haul, man. This fight is... No wonder they were like, are you absolutely sure? Holy shit, man. I didn't really think about it that much. Okay. Stab him. Headbutt. Hell. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, 20 juice to all friends. That's good. We'll need that. Thank you. 
Yeah, let's give this a shot. I'm going to have to pause this because this is going to be a lot of fighting. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'll come back in if I'm going to die if it's getting risky. Hey, so I've killed like um, five bears, I want to say. Uh, and this this method works pretty well. Um, they, they've now actually cleared out enough that I can get into the menu. And so I wasn't able to do anything besides just swap Omori for Kel. So now Omori's the party leader again. Yeah, we get one free uh, turn. And then as long as we just use um, Aubrey to get enough damage. And then use the other guys to just... Because um, Omori has, has his own loop of getting them sad and then stab, stab, stab. And then Kel and Hiro are doing their own thing. Um, so I've been using Dandelion on the rare bear to uh, strip him of his, like, whenever he doesn't have a turn, I have him use an item. So, for example, he uh, takes away the mood from the bear, which means that we'll have another chance to get, you know, the, the, the thing back. I don't think we're going to have time for this. I'll have you heal him. Enchant. Ooh, nice. Right in. Uh, oh, it makes them all go. Oh. That makes it a lot easier. All right. There we go. Combo meal. Back in. All right. But yeah, it's it's pretty simple. You just need to keep your stuff up. First turn, uh, Omori does Painful Truth. Makes the bear sad and himself sad, which means that Stab will crit every time he uses it afterwards. Aubrey has to make herself and Kel angry. This means that Kel can continue to do some damage. Um, honestly, could have and or should have had uh, Hero heal, but that's okay. So yeah, now Stab will automatically crit, so we'll headbutt. And we can have you actually... Give her a donut, because he's very fast. Uh, and let's just see what that does. So yeah. Also, we're getting more per heal because Hero has the spatula. Oofa doofa. That's annoying. Hero getting, or er, uh, Omori getting hit is really annoying. Nice. Not bad. Painful truth him. Headbutt him, which might kill. Run and or gun. Try to cook for Omori. That'll guarantee us at least one more turn. Omori is depressed now. Does that make the damage of his attack go up even further? -er? There you go. So yeah, it's much like this. I'll come back in when they're all dead. Hey, we're coming back in. Um, trying a different tactic on this last one just to see what happens. God, Powerhead has such a po such a good animation, you know? Uh, call Aubrey, because she's going to hurt herself. Let's go, Aubrey. Yeah, her juice goes up. Good. Aubrey's such a powerhouse when it comes to damage. Omori's cool, 
Because, like, he's the only one with an actual weapon. But, like... Arby's for real, real small, man. Oh, we're starting to run out, huh? Oops. Aubrey's gonna headbutt. Yeah. Kel. Uh, you can juice yourself. I hate saying that. I'll have you now. 71 juice. 29 damage. That's not even bad. Oof. Um. Oh, crap. He's out of juice. I love that being out of juice is the game mechanic here. There we go. I think that's everything. Yeah, I'll be hit level 22. So all these things have good healing items in them. Foxtail. And jam packets. Speed increases with more energy. Interesting. I kind of want to give that to you. Because you have really low speed. Well, let's do that, actually. Alright, cool. Um, that was like a 30-minute fight sequence or something. I don't know if it was that long. It was at least, like, 15. It was a really long, like, fight. Am I good? I'm good. Oh, right. All right, back to the action. Boink. Oops. Alright, they were cute, but now they're starting to drain me a little bit. I kind of want to get rid of the dumb Sprout Mole Musks. Oh god. Why'd I change back? I should have known. I'm a fuel. Alright. What about you? Uh, hi. I'm like super busy standing here being one of the Calamitous Elite and all. Uh, can I, like, help you with something? It says Helen. Tomato. Ooh, tomatoes are good. I used one of them very recently. Um. Also, the spatula passive is, like, really good, by the way. Why bother? I really just want to go back and save, which I will do now. I already came back up and I clicked on this and then it started something, but it said a ominous statue of Sweetheart casts a disconcerting statue over the garden. Oh my god. What's the password? Never mind. I said never mind. Wrong. Oh my god. Yes, I do want to have tea with my friends. Oh, look at that. We're having a tea party. They left the little sprout hole masks on the table. How pleasant. little horse. Oh, the little horse. That's really good. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What's up, guys? Keep cutting down these vines, but keep growing back. Chop, chop, chop. You almost see the other side. Or can I? Curse these vines, they never quit. You have a lot to cut yourself, they're sharp. I can't see anything. Vines are going to be the death of me. 
Spend every day chopping these vines, but never seems to get any work done. Tough like me. Almost there, I think. Alright. Let's go for round two. Fine. Horse butt and horse head. I didn't notice it had a little tail. <laughs> oh, it's cute. I like it. It's cute. Get him, boys. The idea of an attack that can hit everything, but increases in power the more it hits a particular someone is actually pretty cool. I like that. I like it a lot. Hello, Mori. Your turn, Omori. Yeah. Cool. That was pretty clean. Okay. Um. Um. Romantic. Oh, crap. Planet-sized statue. Jesus. I didn't know that there would be multiple parts to it, but I guess it makes sense. Okay, so maybe the uh, all the, the things here are the, the password guards. The passwords guardsmen's. Maybe that's what their job is. All right. Helen the Calamitous, I think. But, uh, I'm supposed to hold on to the super secret password, but like, it's about food, and I'm just thinking about food all the time. It makes me so hungry. Chewing on grass to curb my appetite. Can't believe it. They should provide food to the guards around here. What kind of password is donut anyway? As in a stupid pet name, a weird blue guy. I was called sweetheart. Please, it's no secret at all. Anyone could guess that. I was walking around here and acting all coupley, calling each other names back and forth. Why would you ask me to marry you? Sorry, my friends don't approve of this relationship all the time. Ugh, so annoying. Whatever. I'm still stuck here guarding the passwords with the three other guards. You guys couldn't keep a secret to save their life. That's right. Pity me if you want. See if I care. Here I am, trapped in the corner of the world, guarding the word donut of all things. Jeez, Louise. Okay. Okay, I've got it. Another password. Not so fast, buddy. Awfully tall for a sprout mole. How do I know you if you're really one of us highly intelligent, majestic creatures? You can never spill the password to a potential spy. Ha, to make me laugh. If you're so sure, why don't you prove it? I'll tell you the password if you can guess what I'm thinking about right now. Tofu, sweetheart, tofu, survival, or never mind. Oh, mmm. Delicious tofu. I apologize for ever doubting you. Guess there's all kinds of sprout moles out there. Don't leave me close. That's what I'm trusted with is jelly. Got that? Don't tell anyone. Okay, so we've got jelly donut. <laughs> okay, I get it now. I didn't know that there would be a giant sweetheart kaiju in the middle. <laughs> Uh, crap. This ways. Okay. It's a beautiful day in the garden, isn't it, brothers and sisters? You're saying you'd like to know the password? I apologize. I'm afraid it's not my jurisdiction. Though, I suppose something tasty, off white, and cubish might change my mind. Crap. Out of Toph. Pardon me, sir. Alright, it's something something jelly donut. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to tell anyone. 
really need it? Like, you really, really need it? Like, you really, really, really need it? Like, you really, 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 really need it? Hmm, hmm. I guess I have no choice. You have to promise not to tell anyone. Pinky swear. Of course. I won't tell anyone. I'm done. I swear you might have been someone untrustworthy. Now lean in close. I swear I'm just this filled. Got that? Oh, maybe it's something jelly filled donut. I can probably guess it, right? All right, sweetheart. Let's boogie. Um, magical jelly filled. Donut. Wrong. Alright, you said flaming jelly filled donut. Alright, I think this might actually be it. I might have been able to use this to guess this with logic earlier. Is this something that you can't brute force? Alright. Did I guess romantic already? Oh god, I forgot. Alright, I know we did flaming. I think we didn't do romantic. I think that's the only one. Romantic. Jelly. Filled. Donut. This should be it because I think it's the only one we haven't done. Uh, what? Crap, huh? Maybe it's something that only shows up in... Maybe it's something that only shows up in the list after you get it, you know? Let's eat some of that popcorn I bought. <laughs> Just hit that one guy over and over again. Come on, man. Luckily, this will buff the damage of this attack. <laughs> nice. Nice, let's go. Come on. Get him. Yeah. So that's why there's enemies. I have to wait for them to drop a tofu. One moment, everyone. All right, I ground up for like 10 minutes and I got a tofu. Mmm, delicious irresistible tofu. I can literally slip this once. Sweet. So yeah, it isn't something that's even in the list. I guess that makes sense because otherwise people would just brute force it. All right. Oops. Do a save. Alrighty. And then it's a sweet jelly filled donut. Sweet. Jelly. Filled. Donut. Hmm. Fine. 
Hell yes. Oh my god. Your sweetheart, I love you so much. Let us have kids and spend the rest of our lives together. I would like that very much. Thank you. An open presence. Buckets paint. An open presence. What's going to happen down here? Smuggler Jash. Got some good sale. Got some choice goods for sale, patron. Tofu. Jacks. Chicken wing. Tasty soda. Uh, mango smoothie. Right. Pickles. Top off. I don't think we took any damage, but that's fine. We feel like Newt. Oh, crap. Ha ha ha, fool. Your turn, Amori. Get him. We've leveled up a lot since our last rare rare fight. We're like in the 23s now, I think. We're in that range. Who cares? He can take it. He's tough. I think you could even take a second one of those if you had to. Hell yeah. Look at that. 23. Mash. The teddy bear. Sweetheart, you are my queen. I love and appreciate everything, you, every tahing you do more than anything. Please respond. The pickles. Right. Clams. I have lavoed you since the first moment I laid my eyes on you. Lawn you. Place be mine fail over, okay? And they give you a bunch of stuff because they're like, hey, fill up. Lovely sweet hair, you are my love. Please visit my home. It is ready for you. I almost feel bad for her now. She's getting skeezed on. Pickles. Last pickle. Before the fight. Actually. Mm hmm. Yeah, we made our way out. What's all the decorations? Looks like someone's about to get married. Uh-oh, show's about to start. Let's hide. <coughs> oh boy. Welcome all, welcome all. Today is a most momentous occasion after 42 seasons of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. It's time to air the final episode. It... <laughs> It has been a splendiferous run. Thank you all for your viewership. 
For long as we've been on air, we have rigorously looked for a purpose, perfect suitor for a beloved sweetheart. And each time, regretfully, sweetheart was unable to find the one true love. But this time, we believe we have outdone ourselves. This is the moment to end all moments. History begins here. <laughs> Dim the lights. The final episode begins now. Let us commence the wedding. <gasps> Please welcome to the aisle, sweetheart's perfect suitor. Oh, who's it going to be? I'm so curious. I'm so invested. The cake we made. <gasps> he jumps out. Yes, it's true. Now you've seen everything. The answer has been obvious all along. The only suitor magnificent enough for Sweetheart is Sweetheart herself. Oh, silence. Let's begin the ceremony. Oh, my boys. I raised them well. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <laughs> Sweetheart's marrying herself? That's so lame. Don't laugh, Gal. I actually feel kind of bad for her. Does anyone object to this holy matrimony? Speak now or forever hold your peas. In that case, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you Sweetheart and Sweetheart. You now kiss the... I object! Stop this wedding. I got the spotlight and everything. Don't do this, sweetheart. The wedding's a sham. Loving yourself is one thing, but this is taking it too far. Not you again. How dare you step foot back in here. Guards? Guards. Sweetheart, you're making a mistake. You can't just marry yourself. There's someone out there for you. I know it. Harvey, what are you doing? She's gonna send us to the dungeon again. Hmm. You understand nothing, random hero fan. I was a young princess once. I too thought that there was someone out there for me in the universe. It's all in the past now. I no longer believe in true love. I'll never love anyone else ever again. The only person I'm going to love from now on is myself. Now guard, seize her. A uh, hero, I don't think this is a good idea. Sweetheart, listen to me. You don't have to do this. What's this? Could it be? Hero, my hero has come for me. <laughs> Oh, my sweet hero, I knew you wouldn't leave me alone like this. How you sway me with your words. Though it may be over between us, my heart has not yet forgotten you. I will give you one last chance. Marry me, hero, here and now. Do so and I will let you and your fans live. Wait, what? I can't do that, that's crazy. We get into the stabbing part? What's this? You reject me. Again? But how could this be? I don't understand. Uh oh. Now you've done it. Ah, uh, yes, I see everything clearly now. I'll admit it. I was wrong about you, hero. I thought you were a worthy companion. But it seems you're jealous of me like everyone else. Yes, that must be it. My dazzling looks, my charming smile, my gregarious personality. That means that she likes company. It must be so difficult for you to even stand in my presence. Well, there's no need to despair anymore. I'll end your suffering personally. Oh my god. Farewell, miserable peons. I'll lock you up in the dungeon forever. <laughs> Yo. Oh crap, Mush isn't in here. That's okay. Hit right in the heart.
Sweetheart feels happy. Uh, save it. Let's go. We're still good. Keep it going. Swings her mace. Oh, sweet Jesus. Right in the heart. Moving attack. 220 damage. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Yeah. It's pointless, you fools. You can't dampen my positive energy. She cannot be sad or angry. Uh, Omori, take it. Your turn. Yeah. Um. Nice. You dare raise your fists at me, fool? You should be groveling on your knees. Nice. Perfect. Keep stabbing, Omori. And you give him a cookie. Jesus! Alright, let's save the energy and then use Omori's release energy. Oh ho, my beauty and grace is boundless and everlasting. It's a shame you won't be able to enjoy it for much longer. She's ecstatic. Cookie, just for Kel. Um. Just a normal one, I guess. Uh, 40 juice. Yeah, that's good. Oh, wowzers. Save it. Save it for the release energy. Uh, we're all full, so... This track is fantastic, by the way. Oh! Well, he's toast. Our release energy needs more. Gotta juice it even more. Gotta jam you. Yeah, this fucking Euro beat, yo. Crap, I should have seen that coming. Ah, oh, you healed the wrong guy. That's fine. You gotta survive. Here we go. Cook meal. It's good. Oh, we can't do it because she's dead. So you're still standing. Cockroaches are resilient, I suppose. She's manic. Okay. Now it's time.
Oh god. Yo! Also, some of us are enraged and the rest are angry. Oh my god! Power friendship, yeah! Dude, Omori looks... <laughs> That's some fucking surge of killing intent right there, man. Is this what they call defeat? I cannot accept this. I will not accept this. You're all nothing but lowly peasants. Oh my god, Furious Omori is scary. Omori's 24. Yeah! Share food! Oh, that's nice. Oh! How could this be? You're all nothing. How dare you define me? Throw them in the dungeon. Guards? Guards? Over, sweetheart. The wedding's canceled. I cannot accept this. Just leave me alone. And then spooky ghost Mari. <gasps> Captain Space Boy! I knew he'd be here. Oh my god, his boat's called the Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> my sweetheart. Oh my sweetheart, I'm relieved I made it in time. You must stop this madness. At once. Captain Space Boy? You idiot! Thought I told you to never show your face in front of me again. Oh, sweetheart. My sweetheart. My sweet jelly-filled donut. <gasps> Please, look into your heart and give me another chance. I should not have kept you waiting all those days. You... What are you doing? <gasps> oh, everyone sit, sat down! I'm sorry, I didn't do this sooner. <laughs> Marry me, sweetheart. Right here on this very stage, I'm getting, I'm getting choked up. I'm legitimately getting choked up. Oh my! This is all so sudden. How, how, how romantic, dude! When you get the proposal and the wedding on the same day, that's, that's a slam dunk right there. You know, Sprout Will Mike. I or, I order you to marry us immediately. Yes, at once, my liege. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to. Oh, forget the formalities. True love cannot wait. Yes, my princess. <clears throat> Uh, power of us to me, pronounce you sweetheart and space husband. You may kiss the bride. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm legitimately getting teary. Oh, it's so cute. He was dragging his feet, and she was like, I can't be with that. You're dragging your feet. And he was like, Oh, I fucked it up because I was dragging my feet. And he's like, I can't drag him anymore. I'm going to jet on over there. Oh, sweetheart, let us travel the universe together and leave this all behind. Yes, yes, my husband. I will go anywhere as long as it was, as long as it's with you. Let us take leave, my sweetheart. We've been apart for much too long. My ship awaits. Yes, of course, my dear. But first, there's one last thing I must do. Sprout Bowl Mike, hand me the button. At once, my queen. Oh god, is it the button to blow up everything? <laughs> we won't need all this anymore. I could just kind of smell it coming. I'm ready now, dear. At long last, we can be together. Come, my queen. Our chariot awaits. Oh. How wonderful. Oh, someone's got to put the cans on the back. <laughs> Did they punch a second hole in the building? <laughs> I get that there isn't a spaceport in this wedding chapel, but there was already a hole that we know for a fact could have fit this ship. So much for a happy ending. I don't think that's going to end well at all. Yeah, I guess this is a complete waste of time. No, it's cute. Shut up. You bond with your friends, became stronger. Everyone's follow-up moves improved. Hell yeah. A big death pit. Below it lies the yawning chasm of the abyss. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, 
Uh huh. What's the matter, Omori? Is there something wrong? Okay, these are shadows. I thought that they were things. It's a long way down. I do want to jump. <coughs> Just turn the sprite upside down. God, I'm so curious now. Is there an option to see what happens if you go out the other way? Oh, shit. There's no save point in between here and there, so I'd have to do my the boss fight all over. Oh, God. Huh. Okay, so we can't stab ourselves. White egret orchid, in language of flowers, symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will fall into your dreams. I'm not afraid of spiders anymore, motherfucker. Try me. Oh, this is, this is the library. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach and everyone was exhausted. Amori was the first to nod off and then the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, Basil's head suddenly accidentally dropped onto a more, onto Sonny's shoulder. The sudden jolt wakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. I don't know that for a fact, by the way, I'm guessing here. He feels the soft sun rest on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He's happy. Very, very happy. And he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. Oh my god, that's so sad. We know Basil's not dead, though. Mounds of books, forgotten through time. The keepers of his library have long since passed. Oh, this is the, the, the cursed underground library. I guess there's no option to go back up, huh? But yeah, um, that makes me th think that it's about Sonny and Basil, since we know that there was a day where they all went to the beach. Hello, dear. Aw, thank you, hon. Where'd you get these? Well, of course. My wife brought me flowers. Well, come here. Give me a smooch. Mwah. I love you. <laughs> Look at that. She brought me a little bushel of uh, dogwoods. I like dogwoods. They grow all over the place in the state where I live. Um, and a few of the states surrounding it, I think. Which is weird because the state has really, really bad storms. And so every single time that there's a storm, it annihilates any dogwood tree. Hot summer day, and all that Sonny would think about was why could they couldn't do this tomorrow. Or maybe Cal. Backyard was a mess. Planks of water strewn about the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to... Hero and Kel's work? All day... Kel watched Hero lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. <laughs> he watched someone hammer his fingers over and over, maybe Sonny, and made note that over an hour has passed since Mari, Aubrey, has climbed down her ladder. I'll just be their moral support, Basil thought, as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course, he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for their help, and he won't be able to refuse. The tree has to show everyone. So it's only fair everyone puts some work in. Or maybe Sonny. Sonny knows this and agrees, but reluctantly. He, sli he slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he'd put in the fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of the summer. Yo! That was... That was someone. That was colorless Kel or Aubrey. Colorless like Omori is. Are there other shadows we're encountering? Are we in a dream? Is this a dream? All right. J.K. Rowling's a turf and awful, but 
The Hatsu Miku written Harry Potter books are pretty good. And there's a really good line at the very end that I really, really like. And I like it to this day, even despite all the shenanigans that happened involving Harry Potter. But Harry asks uh, Ghost Dumbledore in the ghost world that they're in, is all of this really happening or is this all of a dream? And Dumbledore says, well, of course it's a dream, but why does that mean it isn't happening? And it's my favorite because like, the it was all a dream twist is probably everyone's least favorite twist like of all time if you're just gonna say no it didn't matter it's all a dream it's everyone's least favorite twist like it's one reason why people really don't like mario super mario brothers 2 um fucking that season of dallas uh those episodes of the walking dead like every time it comes up the movie north by what's that kid's name rob reiner if you're going to just say it was all a dream, it's usually crap. But in a case where the dream world is a just a different form of reality. Anyway, this year, Sonny was lucky enough to get a, sign, a dark a desk next to the small window. Every day during class, Sonny would gaze listlessly through the opening. The shadows of the trees and the clouds creeping, creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere into his own world, into his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost in his own dreams... Is Sonny getting lost in his dreams and becoming Omori? Today's the same as any other. Sonny stared vacantly. I'm just guessing again. I don't know what square means. Stared vacantly out of the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping out of his reverie. I love the word reverie. Um, Sonny looks away from the opening. Basil smiles? Or probably Cal. He motions classes over. It's time for lunch. It's pizza day, and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Sonny's stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. Have to continue the adventure another day. What was that? I missed something. It was just the spider web. But that would be why the white egrets are everywhere. My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. It's sunset. A strange statue walks over the hidden lake. It might have something significant in the past, but... Time is made engravings illeg illegible. It doesn't matter to the company visiting today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns diving off the statue. Um, Kel and Hero are brothers in the real world, right? Kel jumps first, then Hero, then Kel again, then Hero again. The brothers gleefully urge Sunny to join them, and after some careful thought, Sunny warily agrees. Sunny shuffles up to the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they'd give out any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder, and his eyes fly up to meet with those of a black spider. In an instant, Sonny loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak and too helpless. Or that's what he believes. Sonny shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. I know that Sonny and Omori, to an extent, to some extent, is afraid of spiders and drowning. So I was told that this does... One of my friends told me this. I was told that this does not affect the true, true ending. Um, it's just... It adds an additional scene. But if you go back and water all of Basil's flowers... Remember we, we could go back and water the flowers? If you go back and do that every single time you end up back in this one... Um, the dreams, I guess. Like, every time you leave white space and you go back and water those flowers... Uh, you will get an additional... I think it's a stinger uh, or a post credit scene for those of you who prefer the MCU terminology. But I like stinger. Seven keys left. Part of the shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look in. I will look in. I don't want to go in. Uh huh. It's weird shape. Oh, fuck. We're going to be back in white space. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Are we going to be Sunny again? Sunny has a toy box. Oh, crap. Um... Ellie Black 
snake. Let's see. Is this different? I can't tell. Oh, wait, it can't be snake because we have K. Can't be D or J or F. He lives. No, it can't be lives because we don't have an I, and this would have to be an I. Um, he loves. Can't be leaves. There's also five letters, actually. So this has to be he, unless it's me. In black space, these have to be black space. That's, that's where Basil is. Basil's in black space because it's the opposite of white space. Of course. It's still a cat boy. That probably means that there's a light bulb that exudes like white, colorless in, in white space or black space. All right. So if your dream dies, you wake up. Two days left. Oh, man. All right. We're sunny again. I'm following so far. I feel like I'm following it. I'm starting to get it. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores? No. New message. Hi, Sonny. It's Mommy. Are you doing okay? You haven't answered my calls or responded to my voicemails. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. I hope you're pacing your chores. I don't think I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Kel? If not, it's all right. I understand. Take things at your own pace. Can you check the closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want to keep? We'll throw whatever you don't want anymore away. Two days left before I come pick you up. As it for now, Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzzz. All right. Let's find that picnic basket, huh? Here we go. Okay, that's another episode. Oh boy. And we've hit the 12 hour mark. All right. So, uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Omori. Uh, thank you all for coming by. <laughs> Whoops. Let me just zoop. Thank you all for coming by. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this still. And I'm uh, very, very glad to be playing this. Uh, I'm grateful to be to have been given it, in fact. Uh, but I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Omori. Um, come back for more, y'all. Omori. All right. Bye, everyone.